Well, hello, my YouTube family. Um, I've got things to talk about, so let, let's just cut to the quick. Um, okay, so let's just, let's do lips of the day first. I'm all excited. Um, lips of the day. I didn't even take it out of my bag. That's how excited I am, people. Hold on. Okay. Here we go. It is the lip liner pencil that I am using from LA Colors in deepest purple. See right there? Deepest purple. And I filled my lips with Manic Panic Plum Passion. Yes, honey. Tish and Snooky's Manic Panic NYC. Plum Passion, people. Plum Passion. And this is Plum Passion. Hello? And this one is not a matte. I, I don't understand. I guess they make some lipstick. See, it's not a matte at all. Very nice. It's actually quite comfortable. But then I did put a moisturizer underneath. So it's been quite comfortable all day. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. Lips of the day, honey. Plum Passion. And I have done a lip look on this before. It's been a while because this is, remember I was going through my manic panic phase and I was buying everything manic panic, every lipstick known to man. So this was one of those. All right, people. Packages came. Well, one for Tomcat, his scoop free litter. And one for me. And of course I opened it. See? A cage. And here it is, people. Here it is. Dun, 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 dun. This is my Revlon airbrush effect. And I have the shade Caramel. Now, I don't know. I don't know. It looks a little dark. But you know what? Let's, let's give it a shot. Let us give it a shot. Shake it up. Apparently, it's supposed to have a lot of shimmer and glitter, but I think I can just powder that sucker down. So let us just see. I'm just going to squirt just a little bit to see if it actually is my skin tone. Let us see. Okay. There it is. There it is. And I think I can work with it, people. I do believe, I do believe I can work with it. Oh, I can see what they're talking about. It's kind of, oh, Jesus. Look at the glitter on that bad boy. Look at the glitter. But it is my skin tone, so hallelujah. I got the right shade. There we go. Okay, so I will be testing this out tomorrow. Um, I was using my color stay again today, and this time I did it. I applied it with the brush. I'm not happy, people. I'm not happy. I'm. Uh, it, the, the application came out fine. The application came out fine. But for some reason, I don't know. Maybe I did it wrong. I, I don't know what it is, but it started to dry out in my face. I put the same amount of my moisturizer, the same amount of Color Stay foundation. So I know it wasn't that, but it was the buffing of the brush, I think. Like I said, I don't know if I did it right or not, but the, I, when I was done with it, it was fine. But throughout the day, I kept getting, like, kept feeling dry, like, and I, it, that didn't happen when I applied the, the, the same damn thing with the sponge. So I think it's the brush. I'm not too thrilled with applying it with the brush, even though it's the same amount of time, really. One is not shorter than the other. I mean, I did it rather, you know, the same amount of time that I applied it with the sponge, but I don't know. I guess it's because the sponge is wet. And the moisturizer and the foundation are wet. So the moisture goes into my skin and it lasts longer. 
whereas the brush is dry and it goes into wet and then you apply it and mm. so I'm gonna stick with applying with the brush when I want when applying it with the sponge when I want to apply my foundation from now on so yeah yay for the sponge nay for the brush so yeah that's that with that upon that I've got another question for you y'all gonna have to help me out on this one although I think I might have one I'll give it a shot tomorrow um I am looking for a face powder and I've got a ton of them already I know but I'm looking for a, is there such a thing as a moisturizing face powder? What I mean is the MAC Press uh, Select Sheer is what I've been using for a while. I've been, I've been kind of going with my L'Oreal Natural, um, what is it called? Uh, all over mineral, all over, oh good Lord, mineral glow. I've been I've been switching back and forth all over Mineral Glow and my um, Mac Select Cheer Press Powder, and I'm realizing late to the party, people. I'm realizing that the pressed the 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 Select Cheer gives off a super matte look, and I am not about the matte look, honey, because the matte look make you look older. I would like to keep a youthful glow. Meaning, uh, I like dewy. So even though my foundation is not matte, I don't have not one name matte foundation at all. When I powder down, the powder gives me the matte look, and I don't want that. So is there a powder, or is there a trick to it that I could still come across with a dewy kind of glow? Or do I just have to leave the foundation and not powder it? But I don't feel comfortable with that. I like the powder to set the foundation. So what do I do? Do I powder less? Do Maybe I'm using too much powder. That that could be it. I don't know. So I, I need help. I need help, people. But today, this is today's look. And I don't know if you can tell, but it is kind of like a matte look, even though it's the lights that are, you know, bouncing off of my face. But I would rather have a nice, not like a sweaty, greasy look, but a dewy, a nice dewy look. But I also want to keep powdering my face. So there's, I've been reading up and I did a whole bunch of Googling all day long. And I just, you know, trying to do some research. And the Ninja powder that I have, you know, the one, the, the black case, and it has that, that like Ninja cross on it. And I could use it as a necklace that one they claim that that's a moisturizing powder i am going to use that one tomorrow to see if that's going to be any difference they say that it's moisturizing and i've i've used it once or twice already but like i said i have so many powders people now i have so many i have just about as much powders as i have foundations so i am basically looking for a moisturizing face powder. Do you understand what I'm saying? To give me, to give off a dewy look, dewy look. Maybe I need to powder less. Maybe that's it. Instead of like, I, like I, I, I can't really say I pack it on, but I just want to make sure that, you know, I cover all my bases with the powdering down the foundation. I don't want like, you know, pressed powder here and then you, you can barely see pressed powder here. I want it to even and even look. So help me out. And I use the the Select Cheer Press Powder with a brush. I use all of my powders with a brush. I don't use them with the, the pad. Sometimes, you know, the puff that comes with the powders. Mm, mm, no, I use a brush. So help me out with that. Give me a little suggestion. I'm still trying to work with it, especially now we're going into it. Even though today felt like fall day, it's that cold outside. But we're going into spring and summer. I want a nice dewy kind of look. I always, 365 days a year, I want a dewy look. Okay. I am not about matte at all. So, you know. Can you help me out with that? Okay.
that's basically in a nutshell, people. I am extraordinarily excited about this. This is, you know, I see a little, I see a little glow to the skin. I see a little glow to the skin. Oh, Lord, I see some shimmers, too. Yeah, that's the thing I'm going to have to powder down is those damn shimmers. But I don't want to powder it down so much because I still want the glow. But I don't want to look like a glitter ball. Is it too much to ask? Too much to ask. And it, this is one fluid ounce. It almost reminds me of my, um, my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And I'm so glad I bought the right shade. Actually, you can pretty much almost see the shimmer in the bottle. Can you see that? You can almost see that. So I'm very happy about this. I can't wait to test this out tomorrow. And tomorrow we get out of 3 o'clock sweet juices. <sighs> Although they didn't mention anything about us leaving at 3. Normally the email comes out. We didn't get one. I hope we get one tomorrow. Oh, they better not keep us late to tomorrow, people. Because they are going to be some upset people. Because this is all we've been waiting for. This is all... You didn't give us a raise. You didn't give us no bonuses. Could you at least let us out at 3 o'clock the day before Memorial Day? Could you Could you do that, maybe? So we shall see. We shall see. So I wanted to talk. There's a whole bunch of stuff I want to talk about. Dave Letterman ended his last, his, he gave his last show last night. I didn't see it. I DVR'd it. But they were talking about it on CNN Mostly they were given pretty much the same piece over and over and over again, but it's going to be fun to watch. So I will watch that. If not tonight, then over the weekend. I don't know. Today is Thursday, but we don't have no scandal. So I don't know what the hell I'm going to be watching. What is there to watch? Other than scandal. Which we're not going to have because last week was the season finale. Season, this is a week of season finales. Season finale, The Flash. Season finale, uh, Chicago uh, PD last night, which I did not like. I didn't like the way it ended. Series finale of the following. Did anybody watch that? Oh, I think tonight is Wayward Pines. That's what reminded me. It just started, so this is the second episode. So we shall see. But remember I was telling you that Wayward Pines reminds me of Twin Peaks? Twin Peaks is coming back on. So... That should be quite interesting. Quite interesting. Um, so, um, what was I saying? The, the, the series finale of the following? Did anybody watch that? It ended, well, it ended like there could be a possibility that it could come back on. You know what I mean? Like, it didn't end with everybody dying and all of this. Matter of fact, the person that I think that was supposed to die, we don't know if he died or not. So, yeah, no. And the lead character, Ryan Hardy, he still lurks. So, we shall see what happens. I'm, I'm thinking the series may, you know, may take a little bit of a hiatus and maybe it'll come back. I don't know. I'd like that to happen. I really would like that to happen, people. But, um, I... Don't, don't know. Okay, is there anything else I have? I told you about my new foundation. I told you about, you know, I need a new powder. I think I need, I just need a new powder. I think I have all the powders that I need. I am just going to change the powder. Maybe that's what's drying out my face. Well, like I said, it's, it, it could be the, the powder, the way I applied the powder. But I have a feeling it's the way I applied the foundation with the brush. I'm not happy with the application of the the brush. Uh, hmm, no, the sponge. I like the sponge way better. The sponge in my fingertips. That's basically it. I, I'm not going to do the brush anymore. I could probably use a different brush, but it was the brush that I showed you yesterday. And everybody was like, yes, Nancy, you could use the brush. You could use the brush. And I was thankful. Thank you so much for that. Thank you for helping me out, people. Helping an old woman out. Old woman who's trying to hang on to her youth which is long gone, long, long since fast. But since I don't look my age, like a lot of people tell me I don't, I'm trying to hang on to that for dear life. Y'all just don't know. 
and I bought my two tickets. Again, Lord, please let there be something in the tickets today because they have the, the numbers have been quite cold. They have been quite cold lately. I'm hoping that the numbers that I've got today, cash for life, win for life, that there'll be something. Okay. <sighs> All right, people. So I don't know what else to tell you. Um, That's basically it in a nutshell. I've got my foundation. At least one came. The, uh, the, I'm still waiting for my L'Oreal Lumi. I don't know. They're talking about it's going to be coming in June 21st. So I was like, excuse you? Where is it coming from? Japan? What the hell? So, I guess sometime next month, I'll get my L'Oreal Lumi. In the meantime, I still have the True Match Lumi, which I can, you know, I always write what found my entire makeup look in the description box. So, everybody can always take a look at, well, did she change her foundation today? What is she wearing today? You can always take a look. So, that's basically it in a nutshell. Mr. Man, um, I don't know what, what's going on with him. He, you know, f earlier this week, he, he threw up Monday and Tuesday. But I've been kind of, and I think the reason why is because I've been giving him too much of his prescription diet, the Hills prescription diet. So now I'm, I'm still giving him his prescription diet every single day. I haven't backed up on it, but I'm lessening it. I'm giving him the same amount of Innova grain free uh it's, this one's not the grain free innova food which he absolutely loves chicken flavor honey anything chicken flavor he's all over it and i'm mixing in the prescription diet with it but i'm not putting as much as i used to i think that's what was making him his stomach a little queasy so i'm just kind of lessening it a little because I, I used to do half and half now i think i'm gonna do you know a little bit more than half of the of his innova and just a little bit of the Hills diet. And I did that today. Perfect. Today is Thursday. I did that Wednesday and Thursday. Monday and Tuesday is when he spit up. Wednesday, I lessened the Hills diet prescription. Perfect. Matter of fact, I hear him crunching now. He's eating now. And I did it this morning. So I think, I think we're good. He's still active and he's still, his coat is getting so soft and shiny. I really do believe the Hills diet food is working in his favor and the Innova has always been good to him and for him so you know the combination of his prescription plus really good food I think I found the perfect thing I think I, I found the perfect you know equilibrium of his food so I think I, I think I did a good job so he's not spitting up or anything and even if he dives in like he does that's really the only thing that really makes him spit up is when he he thinks that somebody's going to take his food away. I guess it's still, he still sometimes goes back in time when he used to live with 180 cats. And I guess, you know, since he's smaller than normal cats, maybe when he was born, he was the runt of the litter. So now he's scratching in his litter box. If you can hear that. Um, and maybe it just, you know, it took him a little longer to get to the food and he would have to dive in to get his, his fair share. 180 cats. This woman ordered 180 cats and unfortunately he was one of them. So, you know, maybe every now and then he gets a flashback and he has to dive for his food thinking that somebody else's or some other cats are going to get his food. And that's when he spits up. But, you know, I know it's been, you know, two years since I've had him. But he still, it's like a, it's like a war vet when they've seen action and, you know, every now and then, that's why war vets don't like to talk about the war because they, they relive it. And some to the point of, you know, they really, they really relive it. Like they'll, something will trigger it and they're back in wherever, like back in Korea or back in, you know, Vietnam or whatever. And so I have a feeling he he has like, what is that, P PTSD? I think that's what it's called, PTSD. Post-traumatic stress, PTS, stress, D. Well, it's supposed to be syndrome. That would be PTSS, wouldn't it? But anyway, you get what I'm saying. But, you know, 
other than that, he's he's a beautiful cat. I love my cat. I love Tom to death, which is why I was kind of concerned about the whole throwing up thing, the spitting up. But I realized I was probably putting a little bit too much of the Hills prescription diet and mixing it with the Innova. So I just kind of backed up on the Hills, still give him his Innova, his chicken flavored Innova. Loves it. And, you know, I think I found a happy medium for him. So, fingers crossed. Other than that, people, I think that's it. Tomorrow is Friday. Sweet to Jesus, and I pray that we get out at three. Pray for me, people. Pray for me that I get out at three. And pray that three o'clock comes rather quickly. I know I'm not supposed to be talking about my work. It's not that I don't, don't I'm not supposed to be talking about my work. It's just that. I've been complaining about it so much that I want, I've been wanting to back up. But today, something rather stupid happened. Okay, we have new, I can't really call them interns, but two, new temps. There's like 20 of them. 20 new temps came earlier this week. And of course, nobody bothered to tell me, but that's neither here or there. They were given temp badges. Fantastic. Now they can open the doors and close the doors. And they can go through and blah, blah, blah. Then this afternoon, one card wasn't working. I had to let that person in. And I said, what's wrong, what's wrong with your card? They said, he said, I don't know. And then it wouldn't go through the second door. Then a whole bunch of them tried to get, and all of their, all 20 of the cards are have been dis, disactivated, deactivated, disactivated, deactivated. And I'm going, what the hell? So when I went to lunch and I came back, because Hopalong had to cover for lunch for me. So when I came back, she was like, do you know that? I said, girl, I'm way ahead of you. I've been knowing that now you have to open the door. And see, I said, now you know what I have to go through. She said, what the hell? And I said, well, do you know anything about it? Well, it looks like Shorty from the HR department called the woman that activates and deactivates the cards and told her to deactivate all 20 of them because they're only supposed to work for downstairs because that's where eventually that's where the temps are going to be. But they're still in training and their training is upstairs. So why would you be deactivating their card upstairs if they're still going to be upstairs? Does it, does it make any logical sense? Does it make any logical sense? You know that they're training. They don't train downstairs. The boardrooms are over here. They've been training in the boardrooms all week long. All week long, their cards have been fine. Today, you find out, okay, but they're going to be there. After their training, they're going to be situated downstairs. They're not situated downstairs yet. They're still training. So. So why did you deactivate their cards? Why again? The stupidity that I work with is, I can't even begin to tell you. I, do you see what I have to work with? This is what I have to work with. So I asked Hopalong, I said, Shorty actually did that? Why did she do that? And Hopalong was like, I don't, you asking the wrong, I said, see, now you understand the world that I have to work, work in on a daily basis. Because the left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing and, and so on and so forth. So that's it. That is all I'm going to say about my work today. I'm focused on a new foundation. Okay, I'm, I'm happy thoughts. Happy thoughts, people. Happy thoughts. Oh, and here's another question that I have. This is, you know, this is quite a popular. Oops, Lord, hold on, people. I just dropped it. This is quite a popular foundation. This Fit Me Foundation. Okay. And my color is cafe. But, I mean, it, it looks like it's sort of empty. It sort of kind of looks like it's empty, but at the same time, it looks like I may have a little bit down here. 
So here's my question. When, when do I stop using this? Because the more I do this, you know, I open it up and the more I squish it around, the more I have. But I know that it's pretty much empty. So am I scraping the side? I don't. I'm just going to keep using it until nothing else comes out of the sponge because I love, love this foundation. I like Cafe and I have another one in another shade. Cafe and something. This is Cafe. This is the darker of the two. And I have another one. I love this foundation. But I have other foundations waiting in the wings. I have a Maybelline in Honey foundation waiting in the wings. And I have another one of these waiting in the wings. So when do you guys give up on your foundations that, that are like this? If any of you use Fit Me, let me know. I'm just full of questions this week, huh? Okay, so that is that with that upon that. If anybody wears... This foundation, this Revlon Airbrush Effect, Photo Ready Airbrush Effect Foundation, please let me know how it is. Is it, I think it's this, I think this is medium coverage, but I'm not really sure. I should be using, hold on. Oh, I guess I should have to, I'd have to open this and read it and all of that. It's whatever it is, okay? It's, it's whatever it is. I'm going to be happy to use it, though. New foundation. This is me, a person that never used to wear foundation. And now I'm collecting them by the boatloads. Okay, that is it, people. That is all. I have gone on far too long. Hit me up on the moisturizing powder if there is such a thing. I really don't know. Oh, Lord. He hasn't done that in a while. Oh, here we go. I know if I sit here long enough, he's not going to push it right away. It's just going to be me talking, talking, talking. The next thing you know, boof on the floor. But I'm not going to do it now. Oh, he think he slick. He think he slick. He's trying to play it off like, I don't know what you're talking about, Mom. Don't worry. The glasses case will stay right here. Don't you think I know better? He does not like to have anything. Oh, here we go. I don't think he's going to push it while I'm recording. He'll wait until I'm done recording, then he'll push it. So I don't think you'll, you guys will see. And I'm not going to sit here and just, you see, did, did you see him pushing it? You see him pushing it, right? You saw that, right? Did you see that? Oh, he's trying to be slick. He's trying to be slick. He's looking all over the place, but he's pushing it with his, with his paw. Do I know my cat or do I know my cat? Okay, I you know, I don't want the thing to fall on the floor because it makes a big thud when it falls on the floor. So I'm just going to say goodbye right now before he has a chance to push it on the ground. <laughs> I know what's going to happen. Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye now. Um, My hair is all askew. But it's nice and soft. And as, as you can see, no grays. They, they are washed away for now but the next time i get my hair done i'm gonna have to do the whole relax a touch up and everything yeah, it's about that time but anyway i am going to go now i love you i love my youtube family hit me up and let me know let me know what you think about the look me like it me like it a lot uh, like i said i've done a lip look on this before and uh you know let me know what you think about the foundation and the powder is it too powdered down today i don't know i have a, i have an issue with the feel of the makeup on my skin and it's because of the brush i'm almost certain of it because when i use the sponge because the sponge is wet it's moist and on you know the moisture of the foundation and my, and my moisturizer i think i like applying it with the sponge a lot better so i think i'll stick with that in any event people that is it that is all i love you i love my YouTube family, you know I love you all so very much. You're also grateful. You're also grateful. I'm grateful to have you all watch my videos. And um, Memorial Day weekend is upon us, people. So, you know, I'll say have a happy Memorial Day tomorrow. But yes, when I come home, it's going to be an early video viewing for you all, I hope. 
So let us have a great evening. I don't know what I'll be watching tonight other than Wayward Pines, but I don't know what else there is. And uh, we'll discuss tomorrow, okay? I love you. Bye now.